Hey, welcome to Swan's Japanese Horror Reviews. Today we're continuing our look at Takashi Miike's films with his 2001 gory and darkly humorous film, Ichi the Killer. Now, Ichi the Killer stars Tadanobu Asano as Kakihara, a very um, sadistic and uh, cruel Yakuza member who is um, distraught after his boss is brutally killed. Kakihara likes to receive pain. He likes when people beat him up. He's one of those kind of guys. So when his boss, who's somebody who used to beat him up a lot, is dead, um, he wants to find the killer because maybe he can find someone that can hurt him even more. We also cross paths with Ichi, um, the title character. and He's like this cowardly, you know, guy in normal life, but he's also a killer, you know, obviously as the title implies, but he gets sexual uh, arousal and satisfaction from, from killing people. So, you know, you've got the sadist and the masochist coming together, and um, when they do, it's, it's certainly to be a battle of epic proportions. The film is all about breaking taboos. Um, there's a lot of subject matter in here that um, you're not going to see, you know, in your traditional movies that you would find in the movie theater, you know, in the States. The movie goes through subjects of torture, rape, self-mutilation, sexual satisfaction through killing people, sexual satisfaction through getting hurt. Um, you know, it covers a lot of ground, and there's a lot of gory and violent scenes. Um, they're very memorable, they're very disturbing, but the thing is, it's also darkly humorous, you know. The, the film is based off a of manga, it's based off a comic book, so um, a lot of the violence is actually over the top, and because of that, it's not, you know, scary per se. Maybe the first time you watch it, you might be, you know, really shocked, certainly, but it's, it's more, you know, so over the top that you know, it's not really scary, but almost, you know, you know, humorous. Darkly so, you know, certainly, you know, the subject matter is, you know, pretty serious stuff. Um, and, you know, there might be a good deal of symbolism, actually, if you take the time to look at it. Some of the uh, computer effects that were used in the movie are actually pretty cheap looking, but that kind of adds to the humor of, of things, you know, because it is so over the top to watch a man get, you know, sliced in two, or, you know, so many other things, you know, cutting off your own tongue or piercing people in places that they shouldn't be pierced or cutting off body parts, etc, etc. Uh, but it, yeah, I do think it kind of adds to the, the weird, darkly humorous charm of the, of the film. The, the acting is pretty good. I mean, Tadanobu Asano is one of my favorite actors out there right now. Um, he's great as Kakihara. Um, he's got good range as an actor, I think, because he can do a movie like that and then do, you know, uh, one of my favorite films, The Last Life in the Universe, and it's a polar opposite character. It's so interesting. I think he's, you know, one of the best uh, Japanese actors out there right now. Also, Shinya Tsukamoto. Um, you might remember that name from The Iron Man. He's the director of The Iron Man. Did that review a few times back, and he also started in uh, Marebito. He is one of the main characters as well in this one. Uh, he's got a pretty humorous role as uh, Gigi, so look out for him. And, uh, yeah, there's also a, um, a live-action prequel. I haven't seen it. It's not Mike. Um, it looks like the production values are really low on that. And there's an, uh, an anime short. Also a prequel, I think. And I think uh, Takashi Mike actually does the voice of Kakihara on that one. So that one might be worth tracking down. The DVD actually comes to us from Tokyo Shock. Now, there's like, actually a couple different versions out there now. Um, I have this older one from a few years back, which was the uncut, you know, special edition, they called it. And it had, like, a little commentary with uh, the director, Takashi Mike, and just some trailers. It was a pretty sparse DVD, but pretty cheap. Um, they've just recently released a um, two-disc edition called The Blood Pack, I believe, and it's really nice packaging. And um, I don't have that one because I have the old one, but it uh, looks like it contains a lot more interviews and uh, some of the stuff that might have been on, like, the UK versions of the DVDs, which I think they had more extra features than us. Uh, initially. If you, if you haven't seen the film yet, I'd probably recommend the Blood Pack edition because that's probably what the store is going to be stocking now. But otherwise, um, yeah, as long as you don't get the, the edited one, like the edited VHS tape, you should be okay. You know, there is a great deal of sexuality in this movie as well. Um, so that seems to be one of the main themes of the actual movie is, you know, sexual pleasure. and um, That's explored in various ways that are, you know, mainly seen as taboo um, in the modern world, but it's quite interesting, you know. So, you know, I think there's some merit to this film. It, it does, you know, raise some interesting topics, um, all the while being uh, darkly entertaining. So, hats off to Mika. Ichi for me is is an enjoyable film, you know, to watch every you know few months or so, I guess. 
Um, you know, some of the scenes are a little over the top, and it's not my favorite Mike work. Uh, certainly, I think, you know, more subtle films like Audition uh, really do it for me more than, than this one. But, you know, a lot of my friends seem to enjoy this one, and, you know, it's a good reason why. It's a good movie, you know, to sit down with friends and have a crazy night and watch it, I suppose, because it's, it's so over the top and, you know, it's so out there. So it's worth watching, um, but it's not my favorite. So I'd, I'd probably, I'd probably give the movie like a seven out of ten. You know, um, you know, there's a lot of good, you know, set pieces in it. Maybe some parts might drag on, you know, here and there, but overall, you know, it's 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 worth watching. You know, just so you can make up your own mind about, you know, what you think of this. So yeah, and the DVD, uh, my version, you know, six out of ten, I guess. But um, the blood pack might get more, but yeah. So yep, that's uh, Takashi Miike's Ichi the Killer. Certainly a memorable film. So uh, next week, I think we might actually be uh, continuing our Miike thread, but we're going to throw in some uh, some bonus stuff too, actually. It might be uh, three movies. So um, some of you probably already know what I'm talking about by those clues alone. So uh, look forward to it, please. And I guess we will see you next time.